As a reminder, this church opened its doors in 1886 and officially closed in 2011. While using the new mic system, we continued to have sound issues, hence the bad audio. We apologize. So now, on to part two of the deconsecrated church of the Midwest. This location, besides being a church, was also a school, also which housed a gymnasium. There were several outbuildings, which we would later get to. The noise that we thought we heard banging on the door was actually another admirer of the church who saw us inside and knocked on the doors trying to get our attention. Is it the secret staircase? That individual and his girlfriend actually came inside with us later on, but we've tried to remove them from the video to protect their identities. in 
the stained, the stained glass, like etched in there. It's nice. This was um, definitely a good find. <laughs> Especially because it's got the confessionals, which barely you have to look at. <laughs> that was when we started hearing noises, so we stopped. Ooh, that's, that's... A confessional is a box, cabinet, Ooh, it's booth, Jesus. or stall yeah, in which the priest in some Catholic churches sit to hear the confessions this is of penitents or church readers. And some of them would be on the booth on each side. Kind of like the uh, Cleveland church we did. Some are layout. This one's in all better shape though. This entire church is. Alright, let's go uh, see what else we can find in this place before we get out of here. Join us next time as we continue to explore this amazing location, as well as the rectory and outer buildings. <laughs>